Hello everyone. In this session we'll talk about numbers that we use in our everyday life in the form of time, distances, size, weight, temperature, etc. And in mathematics, all these numbers can be represented on a number line, so they are called as real numbers. In the middle of number line, we have number 0, and on the right hand side and left hand side of 0, we have positive numbers and negative numbers that are evenly spaced. These negative numbers, 0, and positive numbers, which are without fractions on number line, they are called as integers. So, Positive numbers are called as positive integers and negative numbers are called as negative integers. Positive integers are also known as natural numbers. And if we take 0 with only positive integers, they are again called as whole numbers. So we can also say that negative integers and whole numbers are together called as integers. Now these positive integers are further classified into prime numbers and composite numbers. Positive integers which has exactly two devices that is the number 1 and the number itself are called as prime numbers. For example, the number 2 has exactly two devices that is the number 1 and the number itself. Similarly, 3 has two devices that is 1 and the number itself. 5. 5 has exactly two devices that is 1 and the number itself and so on. So 2, 3, 5 they are all prime numbers and composite numbers are the numbers which has at least three devices or more than that. For example, 4 has three devices, 1, 2 and 4. That means 4 can be divided by 1, 2 and 4. Similarly, 6, 6 has four devices that is 1, 2, 3 and the number 6 itself. So they are all composite numbers but we also know that the number 1 is the only number which has only one divisor. So 1 is neither prime nor composite. Now on this number line in between these integers there are many more numbers that are present in the form of fractions or we can say decimals. For example in between 0 and 1 there is a number 0 0.5 or in terms of fraction I can write 0 0.5 as 1 by 2. Similarly, in between minus 2 and minus 3, there is a number minus 5 by 2 or in terms of decimal, I can say minus 2.5. These fractions are called as rational numbers. The word rational comes from the word ratio. As we can see here, 1 by 2 and minus 5 by 2 are nothing but the ratio of two integers. So they are called as rational numbers. And note that Every integer is also a rational number. As we can write the integer 0 as 0 by 1, 1 as 1 by 1, 2 as 2 by 1 and so on. And we also know that rational numbers can be written in the decimal form. And this decimal form can either be terminating or non-terminating. For example, we know that 3 by 2 is a rational number and decimal form of 3 by 2 is nothing but 1.5. So here 1.5 is terminating at 5. So this is called as terminating decimal form of 3 by 2. Whereas if we can see 1 by 3 is also a rational number and decimal form of 1 by 3 is equal to 0 0.333 and it will goes on forever with repetition of digit 3. So this is nothing but non-terminating decimal form of 1 by 3. So this was all about rational numbers which can be expressed as ratio of integers. But there are also some numbers which can't be written as ratio of integers. For example, in between the numbers 1 and 2, we have number square root of 2, which can't be expressed as ratio of two integers. So these types of numbers are called as irrational numbers. And note that decimal form of all irrational numbers are non-terminating and non-repeating. And these rational numbers and irrational numbers together forms real numbers. So we have seen that under rational numbers, we have whole numbers, integers, prime numbers, composite numbers and on this number line every point which can be taken is considered as real number. So friends this session was all about real numbers. In the next session we will learn about properties of positive integers.